Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to classify some angles. So when classifying angles, we kind of need to, you know, kind of have an idea as far as what makes an angle. And, you know, basically, if you just kind of think of, you know, an angle here. here, here's your angle, which is basically two rays rotating about a fixed point, which we're going to call a vertex, OK? So if you think about all the amazing different kind of angles um, that you have, we're going to work on some specific angles between, between some certain measurements. And the first kind of special angle that we're going to have is what we call a straight angle. And a straight angle can sometimes be confusing to students because basically it doesn't represent the angle that I just drew at all. It kind of looks like it's a, um, it looks like it's a line. But you could have two rays that are, when two rays fold down from, you know, making like some kind of angle, when they fold down and make a straight line, we call that actually a straight angle. So I'm just going to label these as A, B, and C. And I'm going to say angle A, B, and C is what we call a straight angle. So whenever you see an angle that is create basically makes, or whenever you see um, two angles that kind of make up a line, or an angle that makes up a line, you can call that what we call a straight angle. Now the next portion is, well, what if you're going to take that angle, or let's take that angle, and let's cut that kind of in half, all right? Oh, and the other thing, too, is I forgot to use. Um, the measure of angle A, B, C is equal to 180 degrees. And if you kind of remember, I mean, I don't want to get too much into degrees, but if we basically the, the um, circle, right, and most people kind of remember this, that if you look at the degrees that make up a circle, we give that 360 degrees. So therefore, if you're just looking for half of a circle, which would be your straight angle, that's going to be 180 degrees. Okay? So that's why we say the measure of angle ABC, which is our straight angle, is 180 degrees. Now, let's take that straight angle, A, B, C, and let's cut that in half, perfectly in half. And by doing that, what we have now created is, um, what we have now created is two separate angles here that are of equal measurements. And we use these little boxes to represent that, that what they are called right angles. And their angle equals 90 degrees. So I could have um, angle. A, B, D, and angle C, B, D are what we call right angles. Okay, And basically, they are just half of a straight angle. So you take a straight angle, and you kind of cut it in half. And again, their angles are going to be exactly half of what a straight angle is. So if a circle was 360, and a straight angle was 180, then half of that, that means these are going to be 90 degrees and 90 degrees, right? Because 90 plus 90 is 180. So we can say that the measure of ABD and measure of CBD, oops, measure of angle CBD is 90 degrees. Okay? So we kind of have this, um, we kind of have this base point now. So going from the circle, we kind of have the straight angle, right? We have the straight angle, and then we have our right angles. So straight angle, and then right angles. And that's going to be kind of the foundation for our next two angles. So let's talk about, you know, let's have a point here, A. Let's have a point here, um, do, do, do. So let's go back to these points, A, B, C, and D. And let's do A, B, C, and D. A, B, C, and D. OK, so based on these kind of angles, let's kind of create another, ang another line here. And let's call this E. All right? Now, when we want to go ahead and classify our angles, we have our straight angle. We have our 90 degree angle. Well, what if I want to get an angle that is between you know, that's between these two. That's going to be smaller than 90 degrees. So any angle that's smaller than 90 degrees, obviously you could see that this angle here, like angle C, B, E, is what we call an acute angle. That basically means that that angle is going to be smaller than 90 degrees. Now, I don't know what the measure of CBD is. All I know is that the, for an angle to be acute, um, it has to be 0, has to be um, uh, angle measure of angle CBE 
has to be greater than 0, but less than 90 degrees. Okay, so that's kind of like the definition of an acute angle, is that it has to be between 0 and 90 degrees. It can't be 90 degrees, because that would be a right angle. And it can't be 0, because then that wouldn't be an angle at all. Um, it would just be you know, like one segment ray. So it has to be between 0 and 90. How about, what if we looked at this other side? And what if we looked at an angle that was, here we're rotating past 90, and then we're going a little bit farther than 90. So it's greater than 90, but it's not up to 180. Right? Because if it was 180, it would be a straight angle. So any angle that here we'd have ABE, so we could have angle ABE. Whenever you have an angle that's larger than 90 but less than 180 is what we call obtuse. And I don't know what the measure of that obtuse angle is right now, but the only thing I know about the measure of an obtuse angle is that it has to be greater than 90 degrees, but it has to be less than 180 degrees. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the classification of our four most basic angles. Thanks.